Today is paint day, and the first thing I need to do is mask all the areas that we don't want paint to get on. So that's first, and then we paint.
Okay, we got a coat of primer on everything. This is the nook for the pantry and the refrigerator. We do an about face. Here's our French doors. This is all covered with primer. We got the ceiling, the beams. Uh, the other wall, this is the wall that's adjacent to the bathroom. That's covered. Ceiling's covered. Now there's my, uh, I had some extra paint in the bucket, so I made a masterpiece on this piece of plastic. Uh, here's the kitchen uh, wall against the driveway. That's all covered. And uh, this be this wall ceiling is covered just the beam. He still has to do a little more beam work, so only primed the ceiling right up to it. So Steve's still going to finish this tomorrow. He's going to start putting in cabinets. So I got all the miscellaneous, extraneous, and extra stuff out of here. I'm going to vacuum the top of the boxes. They still have some uh, drywall dust on them. So just going to get those all vacuumed out. I took all the loose pieces of cardboard outside. I'm going to cut it up and put it in recycling. The floor is all cleared and uh, cleaned off. So the, there's nothing in here at all. This is a nice clear space. Plenty of room for Steve. He wants to shuffle some more boxes around and uh, start putting in cabinets. So I just wanted to make that easy for him. This is the current state of affairs in the workspace where we have all the tools stored. So we have everything out of the kitchen space. We have all our extra materials over here. So we got sheetrock, plywood, two by fours, all kinds of things over here. The sink is down there, a hardy board, sheetrock. Uh, there's all the manuals for the stuff that's going to go in the kitchen. So if there's any need for schematics or dimensions, everything is right there. Uh, ladder area, miscellaneous tools, uh, sheetrock stuff, insulation, chop saw, battery area. So we got a lot in here. So it's all out of the kitchen. So now when he puts in the cabinets, he's got a clear workspace. about 10 p.m. the paint's dry I wanted to have it looking uh, look it over but since there's no lighting in here I had to make my own so I took this dolly and I mounted three fluorescent lights to the dolly I just put some screws in the bottom and wrapped them around with some duct tape just to kind of hold them in and uh, I have a little a light tripod so this gives me plenty of illumination to see where I want to see. So here we go. So now what I can do is since it's on a dolly, I can rotate it and I can get the light right where I need to go. So I can look in the corners. I can see if there's anything I need to, you know, touch up. I can pivot it into this area here where I have the cubby hole and check that out. I can even turn it over here to the main, to the main area and I can just push it because it's on wheels. So it's real easy to move this around so I can see what's going on. So I'm going to give this everything a once over and uh, do any touch-ups that I need to do and then I'm going to call it a night.